Well, this is Steve Cole and I'm with ColeBrothers.com and today we wanted to go over the different types of chevron striping that are available to uh, comply with the NFPA 1901 uh, regulation. Uh, the first type and the minimum that's required by that regulation is a type 1 and this is an engineer grade and uh, we carry the flexible engineer grade. It's, it is your uh, the most basic type of um, reflective tape. You'll see this on stop signs and emergency vehicles and uh, things like that. Uh, we also have, uh, there's a type 3 which is also called a high intensity. Uh, it's also a, um, it's, it's a glass bead type tape but they have, there are concentrations of glass beads within these honeycomb, within a honeycomb uh, pattern on the tape and um, just makes it much, much brighter. It's about three times brighter than engineer grade tape. And it's also available in, uh, in the yellow and in red to, uh, to meet the NFPA uh, color requirements. And then um, lastly, we have the Type 5. There's a Type 5 uh, Reflexite tape that's available, and this is a V82, and it's, uh, it is the brightest of all these tapes. And uh, it comes in the six inch rolls and 150 foot long. And then um, also in the, type, in the Type 5, we carry the one inch and the three quarter inch rolls of either yellow or red. And the, uh, the one inch rolls are um, made for punching out circles or little squares to put between your tread plate to make that area reflective as well. The three quarter, uh, instead of just instead of punching it out, the three quarter, you can just take it and cut it. Just cut it with scissors and you have your little three quarter inch squares and you put those between the little treads on your tread plate to make that area reflective. All right, this is Steve again with ColeBrothers.com. We were talking about um, the chevron striping, and I wanted to show you how, um, how a lot of people uh, get around the issue of, of reflective tape on tread plate. What we have done is we've gone to Hobby Lobby and purchased a, a three-quarter inch square punch, and have also purchased a three-quarter inch round punch. And what you do is just take one inch tape. You can take, take a type five, a type three, or a type one. It doesn't matter. And um, because these punches will cut all of them, you just basically slide your your tape into the punch, and just squeeze the trigger, and you can cut out as many little circles or squares as you need. And um, this is the one that's the square. And these are the, and they, it, they're three quarter, so the three quarter inch is what you need to fit um, between the treads of most tread plate. And um, all you do once you get that. Uh, once you get those squares cut, you just get on your tread plate, just peel off the, the backing, and you can apply that to the uh, to your tread plate and make that area reflective too. The circles are a little bit easier to put on; they they are e easier to line up. It seems like. All right, what I want to do now is just kind of give you an idea of um, the uh, how bright these tapes are, and um, I'm just going to put a spotlight on them just slowly here. You can see that the uh, See how they light up. The um, the tape on the right hand side are the two rolls, and then the little small the small stack of rolls. Those are type five, and then the one the uh, third from the the left that is the uh, the type three, and then the two on the left are the type one. And uh, you can see that the um, you can see that they're all very bright in um, you know under a spotlight at closer you know, closer up. Where you'll see a difference is the um, as you get out beyond 300 feet, the type five tape on the on the right hand side it'll continue to be bright out to uh, 1,000, 2,000 feet away. 